Good morning. Today is Friday, March the 5th, 2021, the 17th day of Lent. I am Patsy Cock, a member of the Spiritual Life Committee at Winfrey Church. Today's devotional is loved. The word love is mentioned over 300 times in the Bible. One of the greatest scriptures ever written is in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. Love is a five-letter word that gives us a feeling of comfort, caring, and security. We often use the term love loosely, such as, I love my new outfit and shoes, or I love my new car, all material things that are a temporary fix of our wants. The Bible defines love as the ultimate expression of God's loyalty, purity, and mercy extended towards his people. Let's look at an example in the Bible in Mark chapter 10, verses 17 through 22. The rich man. A man ran up and knelt before Jesus and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And the rich man said to Jesus, Teacher, all these I have kept from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, you lack one thing. Go sell all that you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Disheartened by the saying, the rich man went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Jesus said to the earnest religious man and loved him. Jesus told him the truth. The man's riches had become more important to him than anything, even God. Trade your wealth for me. I am your eternal life. Two major points in this story. Jesus loved the rich man and asked him to come follow me. Second, the rich man would not follow Jesus because he loved his possessions more than following Jesus. Is our love of possessions blinding our focus on following Jesus? Jesus loves us too, even when we get it wrong, when we let something or someone become more important to us than Jesus himself. Jesus calls us just as he called the rich man, come follow me. Why? Because you are loved, because God wants you to live forever so much that he lay down his own life on the cross to make it happen. Let's always remember a crown of, thor a crown of thorns was placed on his head and he was tortured all out of his love for us. Jesus promises everlasting life and love us unconditionally. Jesus is your true love, your true wealth, and you are what he wants. We should show God our love in daily prayer. Give him thanks for all your blessings. Give thanks for his grace and mercy. God loves to hear our prayers and talk with him. I would like to close with this scripture from Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 verse 24 through 26. One of my favorites. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.